Yes, absolutely, absolutely, my friends. What's going on, everybody? This is Luke Pico with IroncladConfidence.com. Coming to you guys today, baby. <laughs> Another amazing video. What's going on, champions? Shoot, dude. Hope you guys are rocking that world, dude, and always transforming that psychology, baby. Because that's what we do on this channel, my friends. So check it out, dude. If you guys are new here to the YouTube channel, you guys, on this channel, we talk about all things psychology, all things personal development, all things mindset, motivation, confidence building. We talk about these universal laws of attraction that's going on behind the scenes of your reality and how you can harness these mind sciences, these tools, these elemental instruments of invisible thoughts to create the reality you want to experience from day to day. <laughs> Damn, dude. And so if you guys want to learn about some of the stuff that I share, stick around, baby, because today I'm going to share with you some concepts when it comes to scanning your heart so that you can reprogram your beliefs. What are you talking about, Luke? <laughs> Check it out, baby. So do you understand the valuable therapy that comes with documenting your life, journaling your life. See, these videos that I create, they're a library. They are a collection of training, training frames, training ideas, training, whatever you want to call it, right? <laughs> yeah, buddy. And so guess what, dude? When you actually start to tap into, so what do I mean when I say scanning your heart? You understand that your mind, your eyes, your thoughts, your words, your beliefs, your energy field, everything that you have that you can intelligently calculate, you are scanning over your life. You're scanning over your reality. You're scanning over your heart. You're scanning over your thoughts. You're scanning over your words. You're scanning over your beliefs. And what do I mean about programming because you do this all day all day anyways whether you recognize this or not you're doing it all day anyways regardless if you're intentionally doing it or unintentionally see we live life and we go through life picking up information from the world around us this is all of us we're picking up ideas we're picking up concepts and then we live our life to go out and demonstrate that power in the reality that we're creating every single day we do it automatically. We don't even put it on that level. We don't even bring it on that level, dude. <laughs> we don't because we get too caught up in the current narrative of the life and the ideas and the beliefs that we've already established in the current stream of time. You see what I'm saying here? And so you develop what is called a program. You understand that your heart and I don't mean your literal beating heart. I mean your the invisible heart, the heart of emotions. The emotion it's called emotional intelligence. You have this heart that holds intelligent knowledge and wisdom and information that you don't even know, even though you think you may know. <laughs> your heart holds intelligence. Your heart is so powerful that it holds the intelligence, the listen to this word, memory bank. That was huge. <laughs> it holds the memory bank of your life experience. The only reason you can recall an idea or think back to, oh yeah, I remember when that happened X, X, Y, Z this long time ago. The only reason you can call it back is be, recall it back is because you attach the member of that idea. Remember you attach that idea that your heart has already experienced and recorded in your life. Once you experience that reality, it stores it away. And the only reason you can, you can remember that or you can recall that is because you've established that belief. You've established that idea already, dude. <laughs> That's freaking powerful. Because see, here's the thing. We go through life and we experience the good and the bad, the positive and the negative, the happy and the sad, dude. It's just the way it goes, buddy. You see what I'm saying? But here's the thing. You adopt a pattern recognition system, a programmed way of 
believing your heart is a superpower, dude, whether you know it or not, your heart is an electronic superpower of intelligence. <laughs> a lot of people think just the brain is intelligent. No, 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 buddy. Your brain can only process 40 bits of data. Four zero, that's it. Bits of data at any given moment, that's it. Your heart, on the other hand, can process 40 million bits of data at any given second. At any given second. So you got a 40 bit processor, intelligence here, to look out of your head, do what you gotta do, create what you gotta create, think what you gotta think, and then you have a subconscious heart intelligence, 40 bits of data. That, that information in your heart is pumping your blood, circulating all your blood, pump, all your organs are working because of your heart. But see, to top it off, the electromagnetic energy in your heart is intelligent. It is a program. It is alive, dude. <laughs> it's alive, baby. A lot of people don't know that. This fool's crazy. This fool's always getting fired up. He's slipping away. He's going, he's going insane. Understand something, baby. Anytime. See, a lot of people, you'll see two sides of anyone. I don't care who you are. Everyone has three different kinds of people. You have the person you are in front of everyone. You have the person you are around your family. And then you have the person you are when you're all by yourself and no one's looking. Dude, most people think, oh, that's a split personality. No, it's a dynamic personality. You, you can express, it's called self-expression, dude. And because I have big belief, because I got big energy, because I got big confidence and big motivation, and I'm an entrepreneur, and I'm driven like that. See, the Creator gave gifts in men, gifts in women. They have a talent. They have a gift. You're supposed to cherish that gift. You're supposed to express that gift. You're supposed to share that gift. Why? Because that inspires confidence into other people. It, it inspires. Why do you think you watch the movies you watch or the programs you watch on TV? See, it's a television program because you are telling, you are watching the vision that they are telling you. Ho, ho, ho. Damn, buddy. That's some big stuff right there, man. So when we talk about scanning your heart to reprogram your beliefs, the beliefs that you carry inside, they're superpowers, dude. You understand that? They're superpowers. And when you learn how to express that inner person, let it all out, dude. Let all the truth come out. How do you really feel? See, a lot of people ain't used to getting so honest with themselves that they just let it all out and just, this is how it is. This is what I feel. This is what I believe. A lot of people don't do that. Because a lot of people, they just haven't, they haven't learned to do it. I did it for years. I was just going along like everyone else for years. Looking around saying, you know what, dude? Everyone, you know, this person, this family, these friends, they, they don't seem too happy. They don't seem too this. They don't seem too that. How can I change, buddy? What can I do, bubba? Well, how can I become a different person? How can I create this? How can I create that, right? And because I started giving myself permission to scan over my beliefs, to reprogram my heart knowledge, you carry a program right now. It's a belief system, right? You got this BS system, this system of this systemized way of believing about things, thinking about things, speaking about things that you live upon each and every day, every single day. And as you live upon that reality, you are living upon an energy vortex. Oh, that's another video. I got other videos I've done. I have to talk about that again, too. <laughs> Anyways, you're living upon a programmed way that you have adopted, you've established as a certain, it's the truth. And it, you're right, it is. It's the truth for you. It's the truth. Mine is the truth for me. Yours is the truth for you, buddy. <laughs> and so guess what? You want to, you understand you can change the programming? You understand how does a person who has never been a doctor before or a lawyer or a construction worker or an electrician or whatever your profession is, Okay, how do they get into the field that they're into? How? Ask yourself. And I'll tell you how if you don't know. Because the mechanics say, well, you just go do it. Yeah, that, that's how. But what's going on behind the scenes, buddy? What program did you adopt that gave you that idea that it was right for you? You see? 
well, my friends or my family or my dad or his coworker. Right, you adopted that idea. And then you made that idea part of the program that you work with and you believe upon, buddy. Ho, ho, ho. Damn, dude. It's some powerful stuff. Because all I decided to do is say, well, how do I change the program? How do I reprogram the program that I already adopted? My old program said I was only worth 35, 50,000 a month, or 50, 35, 50,000 a year. Some people's program says they're worth 100,000 a year. Some people's program says they're worth 200,000 a year. What's the difference? The program, that's it. <laughs> that's it. And if you just pay attention, to what you're telling yourself and you scan over your life and then you scan over what you can do you can rearrange those beliefs you can prioritize certain ideas you see what i'm saying here buddy <laughs> this is the way it goes man that's why i love entrepreneurship because i get to with the creator tool god-given creator tools that most people don't use and what do i mean they use it but they're just using it to communicate their way through life Right? And that's fine. That's cool. That's how everyone does it. That's how I did it for a long time. But see, I leveled up, dude. I upgraded my program of beliefs. I upgraded the superpower of my beliefs. The superpower of my, what I believe is true. And I found other evidence to prove back to me that that, that, that reality can be true. But see, unless I work with that information and internalize that information and focus on that information, guess what, dude? Do you think I'm going to get that reality? Of course not. <laughs> and so for me, what I had to do is in order to adopt that idea, that new program, I myself had to put myself into that information, into that education, into that transformation, right? <laughs> damn dude it's the way it goes my friends and so i decided to say hey you know what i ain't gonna go to no school i'm not gonna i'm an entrepreneur i'm an outlander buddy i'm a free thinking motivational powerhouse entrepreneur i used i decided to step on the stage of truth use the god-given creator tools of communication in thoughts and words and ideas and I decided to speak my reality forward speak that into existence speak that into what I believe is true about me and guess what I started to create the swirl power buddy <laughs> of that information of that energy and so as I started to do that guess what dude the programmed way of beliefs that I used to have started to become not the same reality I wanted to get. If you want to become the best at whatever it is, if you want to get into sports, if you want to get into football, if you want to get into, I don't care what it is, something you've never done before, you have to intentionally place your focus onto that information, learn about it, internalize it, think about it, speak about it, demonstrate it over and over and over and over again until you eventually become the master of that reality, right? <laughs> Damn, dude, it's some good stuff if you actually think about it. But here's the thing that I've learned too. As you go down this journey, see what, what, what you don't realize is that depending on how far you wanna go with entrepreneurship, with reprogramming your, your heart's desires and the life you want and all this stuff, you start to outgrow a lot of people. And it doesn't mean you're outgrowing them like you're just leaving them but be, as you become better if they naturally don't keep up with you they're gonna see themselves as invalid in your reality <laughs> damn dude it's just the way it goes my friends and so it's not like when i say outgrowing people I, i'm talking about you can outgrow your current situation you can outgrow your current beliefs you can outgrow negative ideas, negative perceptions. You can learn to scan over your heart and reprogram the beliefs that you have right now, buddy. <laughs> it sounds crazy. It sounds all like, you know, oh, there he goes again, another motivational speaker. No, yep, you're right. Everyone's speaking upon the motive of their heart's desires every single day. Everyone's a motivational speaker. Everyone's a guru. Everyone's a motivational speaker. It's just some of us do it. You know, we let our light shine big time, right? <laughs> Damn, buddy. It's the way it goes, my friends. 
And so for me, because I've practiced and practiced and practiced and practiced, I became the freaking, you know, a master at my game. A master at reprogramming the superpower of my belief system. This is how you gain momentum. This is how you move forward. This is how you build and break through whatever it is you're trying to create. And so I started to think outside the box. See, most people are trapped in the box. Most people are locked in the same box doing the same thing over and over. That's all of us. But see, when, you, when I decided to get uncomfortable with myself, when I decided to start thinking outside the box, and I started to say, hey, you know what? I can create this, I can use this, I can use the, the God-given creator tools like they did in the ancient days. See, in the ancient days, they didn't have all this modern technology and you go to school and get an education and get in line. They didn't know, you just, what the heck am I doing here? Let me figure it out. Guess what? You went and used the God-given creator tools to figure it out. <laughs> Damn, buddy. And that's what I've been doing for the last 16 years. Dismantling negative perceptions, trying to rebuild positive structures of beliefs, positive programs, positive ideas, positive whatever. Successful, happy, motivated, encouraging, inspiring, charismatic dude, enthusiastic buddy. <laughs> Damn, baby. It's the way it goes, my friends, but... You got to decide what you want in life because for me, repetition is what builds the program. Repeti whatever you repeat, you are imprinting that reality into your soul. Do you believe you're not good enough? Do you believe you're not successful enough? Do you believe you should feel inferior and like a victim and poor me and I'm ashamed of myself? I'm very ashamed of myself. Or do you want to learn how to tap into the, you know what? Let me let go of all this negative, fear-based, insecure thinking nonsense. Let me get real with myself. Let me use the, the superpower of truth. Truth is a superpower, dude. Truth is indestructible. You cannot destroy truth. <laughs> you can't destroy it. It's impossible. It's a superpower. And when I decided to scan over my reality with truth, guess what? I started to see I can make changes here. I can make changes there. Let me let go of this. Let me let go of that. And a lot of people, they get stuck hiding behind some ego, some insecure ego where it's all about manipulation, power, control, envy, greed, pride, fear, insecurity. But they don't, they don't see it as that. They don't recognize it as all those weak things. They recognize it as this is what I've learned. This is what I'm going to do. This is what I am. This is what I believe. And so guess what? That's what they get over and over and over again. And they don't even know that if they learned how to step on the elevator of new thoughts, of new words, of new ideas, of new possibilities, they could change their reality. But see, a lot of people, they're not willing to depart with what they've adopted, the program of ego that they've adopted. Because see, see your ego is only good for one thing. It's only good for one thing. Your ego will keep you alive. It's what keeps you alive when you're in the jungle, dude, with the lions and tigers and bears. Oh, my buddy. <laughs> It'll keep you alive. That's it. But if you live from a place of ego, you live from a place of fight or flight. You live from a place of worry and fear and anxiety and panic and stress and just all the worst things that you can happen. And what I decided to do, because I was raised under that nonsense for so long, how the hell do I reprogram this reality of mine? How do I reprogram who I am? How do I reprogram these beliefs? How do I get out of this stressful fight or flight egoic state of mind? You know how you do it? You recognize that you're the captain of your own ship. You're the captain of your own mind. You're the captain of your own beliefs. And no matter how much somebody's going to be there in your life, doesn't matter. Anything can happen at any time and they can leave you or you can lose them and you are left by yourself. So I decided to say, hey, you know what? I'm going to figure out what I could do to blast off, man. To take an amazing, create an amazing program of success for myself. What do I got to do? Ding! Entrepreneurship. I could build a business out of thin air. Imagine that, right? I can create videos. I can create video courses. I can create training courses. I can create mindset. I could, I could be a motivational speaker. I could, whatever. I'm just saying. See, that's what I do. I'm a life coach therapist. That's what I do. 
Oh, I don't need a life coach. Everyone needs a life coach. You crazy? <laughs> your parents were your first original life coaches, and you didn't even know it. They didn't even know it. <laughs> and so once I got old enough, I said, dude, I'm going to become my own damn life coach. How do I coach my life forward? How do I scan over my heart and reprogram the superpowers of my beliefs? Your beliefs are a superpower, dude. Your beliefs will give you whatever it is you focus on or whatever it is you download. So you could think a thought all day. Those are just ideas. But once you start to speak it and once you start to repeat it and once you start to, you start to believe it, you start to internalize it. And when you start to internalize it, that's where it all happens, dude. That's where the miracle happens right there in your heart. <laughs> Damn, buddy. And so what I've learned to do is dismantle fear. A lot of people, they don't mean you no harm. They love you. They want the best for you. But they simply do not know. They haven't developed the psychological framework, the, the programming that you've developed when you go on this journey. All you can do is love them. All you can do is tell them, be there for them. But you have to be willing to make to face these things if you're ever going to get past where you were where you have been in the past see if you're used to living in poverty and mediocrity and you're just like well this is it i'm just like this just understand reality is going to step in one day buddy it's going to show you who's boss dude it does it all the time to everyone it did it to me two years ago lost all my work in the fire right imagine that out of thin air right hmm <laughs> Damn, buddy. So guess what? The only thing, I said it before, they could take your house from you, they could take your work from you, they could take everything from you. Don't let them take your voice because the creator lives in that voice. And the creator, if you're honest with yourself, he's going to give you the truth of your heart's desire. But you got to be willing to climb that mountain, buddy. You got to be willing to get real with yourself. You got to be willing to tell yourself the truth. You got to be willing to scan over your heart with truth so that you can purify your heart, so you can purify your mind, so that you can transform your life. You see what I'm saying here, buddy? <laughs> yeah, buddy, baby. It's the way it goes, my friends, and a lot of people, they don't know they can do that. And so they don't know. And the only reason I knew is because I decided to say, hey, you know what? I'm going to stick my head in knowledge so that I can K-N-O-W, dude, know, right? <laughs> yeah, buddy, baby, but that's it, champions. That's all I got for you guys today. Just wanted to rock some knowledge. Wanted to scan over my heart beliefs, right? Scan over my, my, my heart with the superpower of beliefs and see what I could do to remind myself. Some people, well, you say the same thing all the time. Guess what, buddy? You say the same thing every freaking day. I say the same thing, you say the same thing. The difference is, I say it a little bit different. And every time it's a little bit different, it's captured in a new coded dimension of new information. <laughs> and guess what? Because I heard it a little different, I got a deeper perception, I reinforced it. I Anytime you make, anytime you learn something new, a light bulb goes off in your head. Ding, guess what? You just literally hardwired together information in your neuroplasticity network of your mind that never existed before. And the second you do that, you make a neuro connection. You just literally created two brain cells. <laughs> but guess what, buddy? When you, when you start to create a, a massive amount of understanding, people start thinking you're freaking nuts. This fool's crazy. This fool's out of his mind. What the hell is this guy talking about? Why is this guy always fired up? That ain't who he is. Sure it is. The difference is when I decide to step on stage, pick up the microphone in my mouth and speak to truth to victory, I, I let all my self-expression come out. And a lot of people, if they ain't used to seeing that side of you, they're going to think you're weird. That ain't really how he is. That ain't really. It's exactly who I am. I just don't need to be like this 24-7. But when I step on the stage where the creator's at, guess what, buddy? He gives me the horn of salvation, right? <laughs> damn dude but that's it champions if you want to learn how to scan over your heart and reprogram the superpower of your beliefs you have to make it a daily practice 
and prove back to yourself. See, whatever you do every day, you're proving back to yourself that that's who you are. And the more you prove back to yourself, that's who you are, that's what you do, that's what you get, the more you're going to believe it. And the more you believe it, the more the magic of your imagination is going to kick in. <laughs> Damn, baby. But that's it, dude. That's all I got for you guys today. Check it out, my friends. If you guys are new here to the YouTube channel, you dig this style of information, buddy. You dig this style of communication. Consider subscribing, dude. Consider boom, buddy. Hitting that thumbs up button. And hit the little bell notification if you want to receive updates when I jaw drop these videos, baby. But I do thank you guys, and I do look forward to talking to you champions again next time, baby. Peace. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Get honest with yourself, buddy. What you want to do with your life? What you want to do, mama? What you want to do? What you want to create? Only you could decide when I decide to say, hey, you know what the hell with what everyone else thinks? They don't got to live my life. I'm going to take charge. I'm going to rescan over my beliefs, and I'm going to reprogram the storyline that I'm telling myself, dude. <laughs> yeah, buddy, baby, done.